Moodle Forms, in continuation of Create Custom Local Plugin Session. Moodle Form is the basic interface between user and server. Moodle Forms are used to get input from the user and submit it to the web server for processing. Moodle Form can be created by defining a new class that extends Moodle Form, named with underscore form.php postfix. Let me add Moodle Form to the custom code area. Define Moodle Form Library class file. To create a new form, you need to define a new class that extends Moodle form. Let me create a your custom class, user data underscore form for the user input submission. You can save the code under classes directory, or, you can save the code outside the classes directory, so that Moodle will automatically load the class when required. In Moodle we name the input fields as form elements, text box, select, file picker, file manager, date time selector and many more. We define the structure of user data underscore form by overriding a method called definition. Definition method is used to define the form elements in the form. And this definition will be used for validating data submitted as well as for printing the form. And only data that corresponds to a form element in the definition will be accepted as submitted data. Define the required global variables to access for the user data form. Instance variable is to create a current instance. The definition of the form elements to be included in the form, their types, help buttons included in a function. You must define in your class. The definition method should include all elements that are going to be used on form. The definition method is called when the form class is initiated. One of the properties of the extended class is dollar, this underscore form. This is a Moodle quick form class that extends a class from quick form library. We will assign it to the variable form. This underscore is mandatory. Let me add form elements to the user data form. Header element displays the title for the user data form. Let me start with hidden form element. To add a new element we use add element method. The first param is the type of the element to add. The second is the element name to use which is normally the HTML name of the element in the form. The third is often the text for the label, language string, for the element. After add element, we set the type of the value that should come from HTML form. This information will be used for validation. You can use any of the param underscore constants like param text, param raw, param int, param float, param no tags, param action and param clean. Set default is to set the default value for the form element. Text box to add a new element we use add element method. The first param is the type of the element to add. The second is the element name to use which is normally the HTML name of the form element. The third is often the text for the label, language string, for the element. The fourth are the custom added parameters. After add element, we set the type of the value that should come from HTML form. This information will be used for validation. Add rule. The first param is an element name. The second is a label is the error message that will be displayed to the user. The third parameter is the type of rule. 
The fourth param is used for extra data needed with some rules such as min length and rejects. The fifth parameter validates input data on server or client side. If validation is done on client side then it will be checked on the server side as well. Add help button. The first param is the name of the form element to add the help button. The second is the identifier for the help string and its title. The third is the component name to look for the help string in language string file. Text box with password format. Text box with email format. Text box with number format. Checkbox Select Static text Text area Date time selector Date time selector with enable option. One is for user start date and one for user end date. Upload file with image format. Upload file with document format. Upload file with multimedia format. Page editor. Finally action buttons. Add group is a group in forms lib. Defines as a group of elements that will have a label and will be included in one line. Like we added group of buttons, submit and cancel on the same line. After adding the form elements, define validation method to validate the user input data by throwing errors. Start with calling a parent validation function. If there are any errors, return them in array of one key or value for one error. The key must match one of the element names in the form. Moodle will display an error next to the form element. The validation method returns an empty array if there are no errors. I added a custom validation for profession form element. Data pre-processing method is a way of processing the Moodle data, which allows the original data to be transformed into a suitable shape, to be used by a particular data mining algorithm or framework. It is important to notice that pre-processing tasks are normally done by administrators. This is a manual process in which the administrator has to apply a number of general data pre-processing tasks such as data cleaning, user identification, session identification, path completion, transaction identification, data transformation and enrichment, data integration and data reduction. Once you are done with definition of all methods, now process the form and display. Create the table for the form elements by defining them in install.xml file.
Once creating the tables, save the form elements to the table columns assigned to a record variable. Insert the form elements to the table user data. Once the data is successfully stored to the database, redirect the page to metadata. Make sure, the execution of the form should be defined before the header, and displaying the form should be defined inside the header. Update the plugin. I am trying to correct the coding is good to go. These are the language string errors. You need to update the language strings for your form elements. Do purge caches to update the language strings by navigating to development. You need to define the library class for the method page get editor options. You can test the form elements are saving to database. You can add more form elements. Please refer to Moodle Forms documentation and you could also download the code to edit and delete form elements. Links given in the description.